Sports Matters TV, bringing the sports home. Okay guys, welcome back to Sports Matters TV. We're in the famous Maldron Hotel here, right next to the big Shandon Bells, uh, one of Ireland's most historic hotels. And we'd like to thank Maldron as well for being a sponsor for this massive event. Uh, it's rare I get starstruck. I was only saying to Dennis when I meet their players, I'm always starstruck. Uh, I first would have met you about 25 years ago, but Dennis, how's things with you, sir? Yeah, fine, thank you. Thanks for asking, Jenny. That's good. And we're in Cork, obviously you know Cork well throughout the years. Uh, what's it like to get back to Ireland and, and to Cork? You've, you've got so many memories here, it's a... Yeah, I've got good memories. Um, one of my, f I think one of my first exhibitions in Ireland was uh, was in Cork for a guy um, called Sean Street. He brought me over for a couple of weeks, uh, I believe his dad. Uh, yeah, he's the one. The famous Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've um, I played court many times. Yeah, lovely city. Definitely, and you're busy. Every time I'm on the Facebook page, the Twitter page, your your exhibition wise, you're always on the go. You're loving it still. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, now now I'm not playing competitively, um, which is up four and a half years ago I stopped. Um, I get more time to do the exhibition circuit, and um, it's the weekends mostly what people want. So. Yeah, it, it is a little bit busier than when I was, um, you know, in competition. Definitely. And speaking of, of competition, do you miss, uh, you know, being on a circuit? Because obviously there's, there's some, you know, when I look back at all the legends like yourself and John Lowe and, and Phil Taylor, it's, there's, there's legends in the game today, but it's just not quite like it used to be. Um, now, obviously, in time, they'll, they'll be, you know, legends in their own right. But do you miss being on that stage and, and being on that circuit? Last off, I didn't know. Um, if you'd have asked me that question... And I'd have retired, say in two thousand, which, which I was con contemplating. Um, maybe I just went on too long. But there was, you know, in in uh, twenty, twenty ten, um, I was sixty years old, and I still won a competition in uh, in Australia, Australian Masters. So, um, going back to the no, I, I don't really. I've had my time, um, and I enjoyed um, the highs and the lows of it. Uh, so no, not really. I don't don't miss this, miss it at all. If the PDC were to come to you in the morning and say there's a seniors tour, or maybe they want to do something with the Premier League at Arts, as in maybe have you know two games every night added on to that Premier League, would you accept Barry's invite to, to come and play? I would. I would. I wouldn't jump straight at it. No, I. I wouldn't. Uh, I'd. I'd be wanting to know the uh, the pros and cons of it. No. Uh, uh, I don't think I'd jump straight at it, to be quite honest, because that did mean I'd have to get back in the routine of practising and, and etc. And um, I don't really want to do that at my age. I understand. Yes. Man. That's completely understandable. And like, you've travelled the world, Dennis. You've played all over the world. Uh, for you, back in, I suppose, the head of the, the early 90s and the late 80s, you know, what's the OT? Was obviously America was a, was a big team being out there back then. Yeah, America. I mean, when we when we broke away from the uh, BDO, we had to play quite a lot of uh, tournaments in America. Yeah. Uh, the money wasn't there, but uh, there was plenty of competitions in one day. You know, you might play three different formats in in one day. You might play uh, some singles, uh, some mixed triples, some men's pairs, some cricket singles, men's cricket <laughs> to pairs. Yeah. There was, you know, so you, you had to you had to do well in most of them to 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 a crew of pot, uh, and me and Phil Taylor did quite well, so uh, we, we were okay, but you know, I, I think back and I feel sorry for uh, most of the guys what went over, and it cost them a lot of money, yeah. you know, because we had flights to pay for, and there's a hotel, yeah. uh, and, and if you didn't really make the, the finals or semis, you, you were out of pocket. Yeah, But imagine. we've got to be thankful to the Americans and Canadians for letting us uh, play, whereas we was banned everywhere else. But fortunately for us, it was in the uh, American Canadian constitutions that uh, they didn't have the right to, to ban people. And uh, that helped us to form a, uh, you know, a listing of rankings. Yeah. There were great times. I always hear the stories, even the money games, you know, you might just play a player for, for money. But um, speaking of that big switch, okay, so you're, you're found in the PDC, obviously yourself and the lads came together, made, it made a huge, at the time it was a huge gamble, no one really knew what was going to happen. You became the first ever you know, PDC world champion. Obviously it was the right move and there was no looking back. Yeah, look, looking, looking at it now, it was the right move, but at the time it was very uh, fraught with danger and uh, financial uh, perils, yeah. 
you know, because they were threatening to, to uh, take us to court and wife, my wife was trying we'd lose his house and obviously my, my friends what, um, what broke up, what you broke up, broke away from the P, uh, BDO, yeah. they, they had the same pressure and that's what sent um, Mike Gregory back, uh, I believe, because he, you know, he, uh, he believed what they were saying. And uh, his wife must have been, you know, she was she, nine, 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 <laughs> and, uh, yeah. uh, Richie Johns. I don't think he had that sort of commitment as uh, what Mike Gregory had. I don't think he was a married man at the time. So yeah. I, I don't see the reason for Chrissy going back, but I, I could understand Mike Gregory going back. Yeah. But we did. We had a lot of, we had a lot of uh, sleepless nights, to be quite honest. But there's no, as I said, this is um, phenomenal. Like P the PDC is known worldwide. You know the the, the standards are just incredible. Yeah. Uh, we've seen some rumours lately, Dennis, that the video is in a lot of trouble. Um, yeah. A lot of people reckon it's, it's going to probably collapse after mm -hmm. the World Championships. Uh, obviously, it'll be sad to see that happen because at the end of the day, it's it's there's, there's obviously politics, but there's young dare players trying to make a name yeah. and work their way up. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a good uh, grounding for the up and coming player. You know, play. Uh, you know, it's how I started. I played in the uh, Super League in Yorkshire, and if my average was good enough, yeah. I got picked for Yorkshire. I uh, played for Yorkshire, and if my averages were good enough in the county system, I got played playing for England. You know, so it was. It's it, it's it, it is a good um, a good grounding for up and coming up and coming players. Um, I, I, I don't. Uh, I haven't heard the the fact that it might go under after the World Championship. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Um, but whether Barry might uh, have a little bit of sympathy and, and put the offer back in and yeah. try and keep the county system going and and uh, give a give a route, yeah, you know, a, a route through to uh, to the to the uh, I can't say the lesser player, but the player was not as good as yeah. to to go on on our tour. I know we two tours, but even the uh, the second tier tours, uh, you know, really, standards really, really standards yeah. excellent. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one, won't we? Interesting names ahead. And last of all, then, is the, um, the prestigious PDC World Championships is uh, it's a week away. Uh -huh. uh, Gorman Price, MVG, Peter Wright, Gary Anderson, so many names. Would mm. you give any prediction as to who you think might win it? I mean, obviously, Gerwin's... Uh, Coming to the fore just just at the right time. Uh, Rob Cross can play good darts. Um, I've just a feeling it might be uh, a tournament um, too early for Gary Anderson to come firing back on all all cylinders. Uh, but obviously you've got your favourite, and you? you've got to uh, Van Gerwen, and uh, he's still he's still playing good. But when he has an off day, it's it's good enough to do it most. He is indeed. Will you be watching it? Obviously, you're going to watch it, yeah? I'll watch bits bits of it, yes. Yeah. I, I don't uh, set my stall out to think, well, it's coming on at 7 o'clock and I'll be sat in my armchair ready to watch it, but uh, I, I always tape it and, and flick through and see how things are going on. Excellent. Dennis, it's been an honour as always. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, going to go, I'm going to go practice because I have to play against you tonight as well. So well, have I, a good time. I, I need the practice also. So. <laughs> good man. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. A huge thank you to our media partners, Sue Distributors Cork and Shooters Pool and Gaming in Blackpool. Sports Matters TV, bringing the sports home.